we had a few different times that we went to clean up the beach. We spent a lot of time trying to clean it up and no matter how much we would pick up, it seemed like we never made a dent. Any color you can think of, it was there. Any shape you can think of, it was there. We filled the garbage bag like very quickly. It still didn't look like we'd done much. For the amount of seaweed there was, there was like Pretty much like about a quarter of plastic. A lot of pop bottles, uh, bottle caps. I found uh, a lot of vinegar bottles. Cooking jars, uh, flip flops. And it's prolific. It just keeps coming. We cleaned up a hundred foot stretch of beach. It took like six garbage bags full of debris in one day for about 100, 110 feet. The next day we came back, we were able to fill in other three garbage bags just from what had arrived just overnight. You look at the water, the water doesn't look like it's got a lot of plastic in it. It's just what washes up on shore is surprising. And a lot of it was really gross. We found like whole shoes in this, buried in the sand. We found a kayak, me and my brother found a kayak. We probably dug in good four or five inches and it continues like layers of plastic and further down you go, uh, worse it is because the plastic becomes very brittle and very thin. It's like layers of like layers. And even when we use a strainer to try to um, get all those little pieces, you just can't get it all. It seems like it might be a never ending battle, but what we've got to do is we've all got to do our part. I think we should like try and recycle it maybe. A lot of the plastic can be recycled, but people just choose to litter and choose to throw them overboard and then it ends up with big problems with all this plastic and all this garbage in our waterways. A lot of people see the problem. And a lot of people create those big campaigns, events, and uh, they go and collect all this garbage, and, uh, and it's great. It's absolutely wonderful. But then the question is, now what? If all of us take those plastics, instead of putting them in a container and shipping them a thousand miles to be recycled, we're recycling them locally, where they're found, and turn them back into things that are useful for society. I don't think we need to ban plastics. I don't think we need to get rid of plastics. What I think we need to do is change our view of plastics. Plastics are a resource. They're not garbage. They're not trash. When we're done with them, they may be the wrong shape for their next purpose in life. We should melt it down and make it into other products. Like maybe we could reuse it for maybe bottles or souvenirs. You can make tables or chairs or Anything that you really need out of plastic. Almost everything's made out of plastic these days. Heck, most of my glasses are made out of plastic. I've just come from making some plastic wood. This plastic wood is great for outdoors, it's durable. It's strong even at minus 40 all the way to plus 50 degrees Celsius. It's durable, it withstands sunlight, and it's made from 100% post-consumer mixed waste. We're not talking about beautifully sorted pristine plastic. We're talking about mixed plastic waste garbage. Where what we do is we take this waste, grind it up, and mold it into this useful lumber. Let's go.